What's going on, everybody? It's Andrew with Supply Chain TV with another episode of From the Front Lines. And I'm still not on the front lines. So I thought I would take an episode to tell you a little bit about how we can do virtual better. So I'm going to give you a behind the scenes, kind of a tech tip on how you can do virtual from your office and hold a better webinar, a better meeting, with just a little bit of work and a little bit of investment in some technology, a microphone, a camera, and of course, some accessories like lighting, some tripods. So we're going to run through that today. First couple tips, your background, your setting, your office. Right now, my office is cluttered because I got all my equipment out to show you. Uh, but don't wear a hat. <laughs> Put it backwards if you have to. I'm kind of a hat guy. But don't wear a hat. Have your hair done. Have your place cleaned up. Uh, those virtual backgrounds that you can put on, they don't always work. Sometimes they're going to see your clutter. So just best practice, clean it up. Also, if you're trying to sell something, have some good branding in the background. So this worked out really well. It's a sign I had made a long time ago. Put it up in my office so it's in the backdrop of everything I'm recording. Uh, that's that's just good. So it's good, smart branding. So keep all that in mind. That's your setting. It needs to look nice and clean. Okay, first up, audio. See this crazy fuzzy thing in front of my face? This is a directional shotgun mic. I don't know why it's called that, but it is what I have been using. You have to get pretty close to these things. They sound so much better. They take the echo out of a small office environment like this, and they're very important. This one's on a boom, so I can kind of move it around, get it close to my face, uh, and, and it's, it's just really convenient. I leave it mounted to my desk at all times. For the sake of this video, I'm actually using my Logitech webcam. It's nothing super special. It's a higher-end Logitech webcam. Uh, plugs into my, my laptop, but it does give me some autofocus features and a wider angle so I can get some more stuff in the shot. Uh, I like it. It works really well so far. Uh, next up, another camera choice. This is what I use in the field. Most of my videos from the front lines are coming to you from a GoPro. This is a GoPro Hero 6 Black. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. They're really durable. Durable. They have tons of accessories. I like to pair it with a nice tripod. Here's my tripod setup. So GoPro goes up here. It's got an accessory mount, so I can put, for instance, a wireless mic receiver on top of it. Mounts right in there. That wireless mic receiver, of course, pairs with a transmitter and a lapel mic. This is great when I'm moving around a factory. So I'm going to get away from these directional mics from a good distance if I'm walking around. So I clip a lapel mic on my shirt. Then I can walk and have some free range of movement to maybe demonstrate uh, an activity that I'm doing or get you out and about walking down, uh, up and down a factory floor setting. The lapel mics too, if you place them real close to your mouth up here, it helps, I think, cut away some of the nasty noise from the factory because it's usually a really loud setting that I'm filming in. All right, next up lighting lighting's tricky and i can't always pack this stuff with me i have it here in my office uh and some of my favorite lighting choices are these ring lights i'm going to turn them on they're going to be crazy bright for this setting oh okay they come in a bunch of different color variants so you can change the colors on this and make my pasty white skin not look so pasty uh, it's great for if i'm just filming a monologue sitting in front of a wall then i can um, look good while i'm doing it second up is this floodlight version this one's going to be nuts like staring into the sun all right this comes in handy if i'm doing like a product demo something detailed if i want to show depth of field uh maybe if something's three-dimensional then i can put some shadow on it so i use this for product photography i use this for uh catching detailed shots action shots of me doing something maybe uh you know holding up wireless handheld scanner or something you want to see how it's working so you can flood this this area of my hands and such with with this light and get a better looking shot. All right, last up, I'll let you guys go. This is my, let me turn these lights off. This is my wireless, wireless. I don't know why I said wireless. This is my uh, gimbal. It's a gyroscopic gimbal for my iPhone. So I have an iPhone X. I'm really looking to get in the iPhone, the new iPhone, because it's got multiple cameras on it. Probably should have done that a while ago, but still using my old iPhone X. Uh, when you power this thing on, the gyroscope's going to change the, oh, look at that, the level on my camera. So what this these allow you to do, and you can, again, put any camera uh, into this. You have to make sure it's weighted properly, so pay attention to what model you're buying because they're going to be weighted. The brackets up here and the weight and the balance are all going to be made for specific devices. 
You can also put GoPro cameras and other cameras in them. They have big gimbals for like huge SLR cameras. I mean, whatever you really need. But these gimbals are cool. They allow you to like move around and keep your shot super steady, the same angle. There's bunches of different features. You can do selfie mode, you can do panning mode. These are great. This is a super cheap version I bought off Amazon. Actually, all of this stuff I bought off Amazon. So you can get it. It's really readily, readily available. You can get knockoff cheap versions. You don't have to have a lot of money. I think a decent setup for your office just to run virtual conferences is going to cost you like maybe 200 bucks tops. You could probably do it for 50 to 100. If you want a few extra accessories, like if you're going to do some shots in the field, you're going to want a wireless mic setup. Look, maybe a couple hundred dollars more for that. Maybe some lights, another hundred bucks. I mean, the whole kit, really nice stuff for under a thousand dollars for the whole thing. So that is my advice, my tips and tricks for you from the front lines. This is how I get all my shots with just me. I don't have a camera crew. I don't have an audio crew. I wish I did, but all this stuff is just put together with me. Uh, the last kind of key component that I don't have a lot of time or the ability to really show you is the editing. I'll just give you this piece of advice. If you're getting started and you wanna make good marketing videos, I think a wise way to do it, a cheap, efficient way to do it, is capture all the footage and audio yourself. Tackle that learning curve. That investment of your time to get this all done will give you lots of flexibility and in the end, better videos. And it'll also cut your budget down drastically because you don't have to bring anybody on site with you, no crew, okay? So that's my advice. Then you take and you uh, give your raw footage to somebody who is a editing uh, guru, a video master. They're gonna have some expensive editing software. They're gonna pull it all together, cut shots, jump shots. I mean, everything's gonna be so much better. Let them do the editing. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes I have to do my own editing. So, I mean, it's doable and there's some software out there that can help you do it if it has a complete novice. But if you wanna make some sweet looking marketing videos, put a team behind you, contract out the editing portion of it, and they can also help you with the distribution. So anyway, that is it from me. I'm getting out on the front lines with you guys. In two weeks, I'll be up in Nebraska in some dirty, dark, dusty factory. Hopefully not too dirty. This one's actually pretty clean. Uh, it's a place that makes hydraulic pumps. We're going to get out in the field, hopefully interview a supply chain manager, bring you another perspective from the front lines as we all try and make it through this awful, awful year called 2020. So we will see you on the other side. Thanks, guys.